Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be the vlog of Ontonagon, the county of Ontonagon, Michigan, where I went ahead and stayed camping for an entire weekend to try to document as much of the beauty that is in the Upper Peninsula in Ontonagon County. This video will have some neat history facts, some neat geology stuff, of course, ants and insects, and some history along with showing off some ruins of some old towns. Welcome to the Ontonagon County Vlog. Alright, so pretty much at the beginning of this video, I wanted to do an entire history video pretty much of the uh, history of Ontonagon County so that you guys would get a better view as to what exactly I'm going into. But uh, it's really hard to find sources on that other than going to the actual museum, which we did not do. So I'm just going to tell you right now off of the stuff that I learned from our little personal tour guide pretty much. Uh, a friend of ours who decided to bring us out there, but uh, yeah, so basically Sorry if my voice cracks and during this. It's kind of I was just out with my friends. It's still healing from uh, Doing things in Green Bay beautiful city anyways, that's besides the point <laughs> so basically during uh, Before you know like Europeans got to the area. It was mainly Native Americans who lived in the area You know, they lived pretty harmoniously in this very very dangerous area <clears throat> now, uh, they would end up actually uh, finding copper in the area and they'd actually end up using it and harvesting it from the uh, ground using like uh, fire to crack the uh, rock in order to get to the copper. Now, <clears throat> um, this is how uh, the Europeans found copper there. And for a little bit, uh, you know, when the you know Americans officially got there, you know, uh, the Industrial Revolution and all that happened, there was a huge boom for copper and other rare minerals that were within Ontonagon County. And this caused an extremely big rush of people going there for mining, hoping to get lucky, and, you know, many of them didn't. It was much like the uh, Californian uh, mine rush, uh, or gold rush, rather, uh, which saw a lot of people go into uh, San Francisco and California and a bunch of different areas to try to hope and find gold, which many of them did not actually end up finding gold. <clears throat> now, uh, alongside this, a lot of people also went there for lumber, for lumber, for doing timber stuff, which had another massive boom for the Upper Peninsula, and especially for Ontonagon County. So you had both of these booms coincide with each other, causing a huge rush of people in the area. And this caused a lot of mining towns and a bunch of lumber towns and all that along the bluffs that make up Ontonagon, which I'll probably put up. A video or photo of it here uh, which is pretty important for you know the overall growth and economic stuff but ultimately when the mining started going down same thing with the lumber the town slowly started becoming empty which is why you end up seeing quite a bit of abandoned towns within the area mainly old buildings from the 1800s and 1910s which was when the boom happened and it's just awesome. So, uh, yeah, anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of context there. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. I'm sorry about this little history lesson. I, I tried to get through it as fast as I could. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. And, uh, well, I guess I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> Of course, on the way to our campsite, nature decided to give us a little bit of a treat by showing us an extremely well-organized thunderstorm. This thunderstorm would proceed to rain all over us and make the trails extremely wet and clay-like. Lots of the ground around here was a lot of clay, so this thunderstorm really just made everything really sticky and actually made the trails a lot of fun when we were trying to get to our campsite. Overall, a great thunderstorm and a absolutely wonderful welcome into Ontonagon County. Yeah. This is the first dance that I find here. They're pretty neat. Got my flashlight. These here are Finnegaster. I managed to uh, find them. There. It's a big old nest of them. Look at that little Phenogaster colony. I don't know what species though. I think Rudus. I'm not sure. Anyways, this is what we are in. 
middle of nowhere forest in the upper peninsula and it also recently rained so <clears throat> yeah pretty cool we got ourselves some finagaster here more finagaster last one wasn't is not so far from this colony to be fair but uh yeah pretty cool I'll never see these guys around my area so it's nice to see them maybe we'll are sick and tired of seeing them more east or more than the east and south of my state so yeah pretty neat frog cute little guy Oop. oh he jumped oh my he's so fast <laughs> Second day of uh, doing ATV stuff and all that, and uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that tire came off on my father's ATV. So we're here now. And, yeah, it's real quiet here, though. Barely, it's like barely even a single animal talking. Far away from civilization. Yeah. There you can see an old bridge that used to exist here. So a little interesting fact about this old bridge is that this bridge was actually taken out by ice when the uh, big breakup happens on the Natanagan River. Uh, the amount of ice that builds up actually ends up breaking the bridge, making them need to build a new one. I wonder. It's a good question. Hello? <laughs> it's probably birds live up in this. Well, I should probably pan to it. Probably live up inside of these here. I have no idea what lake this is, so I guess I'll have to put it up when I get home. Oh, would you look at that? I have no idea what species this is. I don't see a queen or anywhere, so I can't really ID that well. My guess... Yeah, let's use this. Nope. <laughs> this is a Formica obs Obscuripes, rather. Not Obscure Ventress for once, but look at all that brood. That is insane. I had a feeling there was something under the sign, but I didn't think it was this. Pretty dang cool. Been around about an hour, hour twenty. Um, I don't know, whatever my mom's saying. It's that been that long. <laughs> my phone. On a video. Oh. <laughs> and we just been 
boringly walking around. I missed a leopard frog, but I at least recorded one of them, so. Yeah. It's a beautiful environment, though. I love the Upper Peninsula. Pretty. Drop my phone. Found a nice little stream. A dying stream, but a stream nonetheless. Looks like it's feeding into almost like a cave over here, which is neat. But I don't want to get any farther down. It's a little treacherous. So we will never find out what it's actually feeding into. <laughs> this is where they loaded ore onto train cars for the old mine that was on this hill. Pretty neat. Bunch of old mining stuff around here. Wow. Oh yeah, look at this. Old foundation right here. Oh, and there's an old house right here. Look at that. That is cool. Orin is uh, old Victoria. It's an old mining town. Where there's a, quite a bit of these older structures around. Wow. These have got to have been laid out over a hundred years ago, or at least a hundred years ago. When this house was first built and now it's just all rubble. See it starts over here. Pretty much all of this area. All an old house. A relic from the past, you could say. The amount of old mining that used to happen over here was insane. Apparently it was almost bigger than the gold rush. It's pretty neat. The uh, San Francisco gold rush. Uh, copper and stuff was mined here. So a lot of people came up here to participate in that and hopefully get rich. Much like the old California gold rush that happened. So a lot of old settlements exist around here. Ow. And because of that, you can find old foundations of old houses from long, long ago. Absolutely amazing. Close, pretty close to that uh, old house is this old ventilation shaft for a mine. Pretty awesome. They have it all boundaried off with danger signs and warnings and all sorts of stuff like that. Absolutely awesome. Look at this old nut that we found. Or not me, we, but rather my dad. Old, old thing. It's very heavy. So cool. Oh my lord. Wow. You can see everything for miles. It's all of the bluffs and the hills and the everything. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. The climb up here was terrifying, but we managed to get up. Wow. The Indians knew that they were ancient pits like thousands of years ago. And usually if you could find pits like that, you could find copper. And I'll, I'll show you one, one right over here. Whoa. These are like thousands of years old. Thousands of years old? They dug it and they threw it up here. Yeah. By fucking hand and using fire and cracking the rock and shit. That is amazing. All in search of copper. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. It is. Just amazing. So beautiful.
fucking hang out and fucking drinking coffee. <laughs> if you can stand far enough you and you jump, you can deploy a parachute. Come on. And of course, you won't go anywhere without seeing Formica. <laughs> Even on top of a massive mountain like this. But they exist. <laughs> to the foot base of the mountain or the bluff that we were just on and there's an old 1800s cemetery just at the foot of it here Let's see old tombstones many knocked down we have Mary O'Neill died 1900s can't read the rest of it there So many. So old. Got Victoria Hunt. Died October 1914. Wow. Charles Skelton. Born 1864. Died 1884, I think is what that date is. Then we got, I don't know what that name is, but same family, died on 1887. Wait, then this should be also died on. Oh, this is born in and died, okay. Wow. An entire group here. Yeah. 1885, can't read that one, got 1988, 1982, and another 1982. 1918? Wow. Old grave. This... This was a veteran as well. Probably fought in World War One. Possibly. I, I forget what date World War One started, but perhaps even a casualty of World War One, because I forget when it ended. Then Isabel, sixty-four to twenty-four. She was pretty old. She was the oldest. Well, the good thing, thing, one thing is for sure that this hasn't been forgotten by the American Legion right. at all. Like, there's. Yeah. They still come out to the site. Yeah. Got some more old mining stuff around here. This here is a very old smelter that actually fell during a landslide. Uh, it's for the mine that is directly on top of this bluff. Here's the lake again. Big ol' big ol' well it looks like a landslide that happened here. Those are tons of frogs. Probably try to catch one of them. <laughs> it's back in an old big built pit on top of those mines. Where the Indians used to mine like thousands of years ago. Oh, there's definitely a lot of history. You can see it. Yeah. <laughs> we broke an ATV, so I have to take all these bags plus some more on the back. <laughs> I I won't even be able to uh, to uh, be able to use my headlights, but that's okay. I'll just stick to the middle of the pack. <laughs> so this is gonna be my view when I'm going driving. Down the trail. That's uh, quite a nice, quite a nice view, I guess. <laughs> Looking around the campsite as we're preparing to leave, and uh, I found what looks to be a really old rock slide down this bluff. See, it's like all broken stuff, so. 
Actually, perhaps it may be not that old, because you can see there, an old piece of wood. So maybe this was actually quite recent. But, definite rock slide here. Or landslide, rather. I mean, these boulders have to be over a few tons. So yeah. Pretty dang cool. Pretty dang cool. On an old creek bed. Tons of little water bugs there. But shoes are gonna get wet. That's for sure. Nope, that helped. <laughs> I was hoping for that to to work. There's tons of frogs around here, though. Yeah, no. There's also tons of fish around here as well. Seeing now, little minnows. This is like perfect water bug looking area because it's all not really that disturbed water. Besides, for of course, the small little streams, but the flow is very small. It's what you generally want for them, but it's really cold out, so I don't want to do that or go swimming. But uh, yeah, this area is beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. Anyway, so on our ride back, we ended up getting ourselves a little bit of quartz with some copper in it. These little uh, crystals alongside this, I uh, oh know, this is quartz, sorry, with some copper in it. Crystals with some quartz in it, limestone, and this weird rock thing. Neat. Well, end of the road. I aren't going anywhere else. How's that down there? Thought it was water, it's not. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. Absolutely awesome. We were camping up here, but this is below our campsite. Below the bluff. Absolutely beautiful. On the ride back home, we were pretty sad that we had to leave this place because of how beautiful it was. But ultimately, we were very happy about the experience that we had here. And more than likely, there will be another video on this area very soon because we really do want to go back to this place. With the absolutely beautiful nature scenery in the area, the absolute pretty close immense to that, uh, amount of mining house. that happened here, and with the beautiful artifacts from history littered around the mountains and this just all sorts of little that tiny found, things that really me, point towards we, this place's dad. history, it is absolutely wonderful. The amount of ant species in this area is a lot less than what is found no in my native area is. within northern Wisconsin, but it definitely makes so up really for it in every single other aspect. Well. Anyways, my throat is absolutely destroyed. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike if you dislike it. Subscribe yeah, if you're new. Check out the Instagram. Check out the Patreon. Check nope. out the <laughs> Discord server and all that fun stuff down below. Get involved rather. with us, I guess. Uh, like the video. All that fun stuff. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.